Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now January 7th of 2022 and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2 and The Bad Batch, a lot of Star Wars fans around the world have truly been looking forward to the new Star Wars universe by George, John, and Dave and exactly what they have in store for the Star Wars fans around the globe. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at MikeZero1 if you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on there. I do post a couple of entertaining things from time to time and really make sure to interact with you guys further. So we're now in a very interesting phase of Star Wars given that we are on Chapter 2 of the Book of Boba Fett with Chapter 3 arriving this upcoming Wednesday. And after that we have about four episodes left until the show comes to an end before we move on to the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series by this May. So the marketing run for the Kenobi series, it's all slated to begin in mid to late March, which by the way isn't all that far away, we're getting very close to that. That is a big plan by Bob Chapek on exactly how the marketing run is going to go in order to really promote the Obi-Wan Kenobi series to really ramp up the hype. And that's exactly what they need to do. Once the, Bo once the Boba Fett series comes to a close, that's when Disney really has to think business and really make sure that the marketing is, is going to be on point for the Kenobi series. So on top of all of this, all right, we already know that Chapek has been a very busy man lately, allowing John, George, and Dave to do as they please with the Star Wars universe and really trying to make sure that everything is going to be in line with Star Wars Legends and or with the new Star Wars material being combined with Legends in a very satisfactory way for the Star Wars fandom to accept. And I gotta give credit to Chapek for allowing George, John, and Dave to do their job properly. So on top of all of this, when it all dwindles down to the Disney CEO once again, all right, with both John Favreau and Dave Filoni getting ready to begin filming the Ahsoka Tano series by this April, Disney CEO Bob Chapek is getting ready to announce a handful of new Star Wars TV shows and movies at Celebration of 22. Now, further is described, however, that in a recent interview with Chapek, he was able to respond to his choice of canceling some of the Star Wars movies that were greenlit some time ago to focus on their Star Wars projects. Chapek went on to state that when we were beginning to create all of these new shows for Disney+, Plus, it was my job to clear other projects out to focus on the ones that mattered the most. This included some of the movies that were greenlit by Miss Kennedy some time ago that involved the High Republic era. These films that Kennedy greenlit in 2018 to 19 are the ones that needed to be cancelled and cleared out in order to make way for other Star Wars films that we will be happy to announce in the coming months and we believe many fans are going to thoroughly enjoy. We felt that the High Republic still needs to be recognized more to the Star Wars fans in order for us to adapt them into the forms of films, and to see how well it fits with the majority of the fan base to really move along with a new Star Wars set of films that are based within this era. So let me just stop right there. <clears throat> now we already know that the High Republic era is something that a lot of fans do not accept. I, for however, do not really enjoy them. I don't know if you guys took the time to really read the books and the comics to really get a fair, you know, angle on how the story is and exactly what's being done in that era. But one thing I will say, nothing about it compares to what was done in anything else related to Star Wars. To me, it is very low-key, it's not all that great, it's very poorly written. That's just my experience reading the books and the comics. That's just my take. You know, for those of you that like the High Republic, that is fine. We're all, you know, able to have our own opinion, and I accept that. But when we look at Chapek, all right, he does speak the truth, he does make a lot of sense here. There's a lot of fans out there that do not like the High Republic era. <clears throat> and for them to really go ahead <clears throat> and make films about it, that really is a very big problem. You know, that being in line with the fact that nobody wanted to accept the High Republic era if they were to have moved forward with making those movies, it would have been an epic disaster. It would have been. So, what Chapek further goes on to reveal is what really kind of brings things in motion. Now, additionally, separate from this, what Chapek stated, these High Republic movies that he had canceled that were a part of Kathleen Kennedy's plan for the new Star Wars universe were going to be full of identity politics and real-world issues that were going to be pushed into the movies. Now, the films were also going to dive more into the secrets of the Nile 
and even was going to feature a younger version of Yoda that was planned to be in CG form, much like in the prequel trilogy movies. Now, the new films are also going to feature no wars in the Star Wars High Republic trilogy that was recently canceled by Bob Chapek. Kathleen Kennedy wanted to focus on a Star Wars trilogy that would involve no conflict and no wars, and to strictly focus on peace. So, this is exactly what I mean as to why it would have been a disaster. So basically, you always need conflict, especially in a Star Wars film, or let alone a trilogy in this case. You always need some form of conflict to create that stir between good and evil. And you need that. That's why a lot of fans love the prequels, the originals, and heck, you know, some fans even love the sequels out there. But there's a lot at stake when it comes to Star Wars, and if they were to have moved forward with this trilogy that would have focused on peace, no wars, and no conflict, I think it would have cost Disney millions upon millions, tens of millions of dollars, more than that. Each movie would have really been pretty much a big blow to the Star Wars universe and would have even further, you know, created a division within the Star Wars fandom. It would have easily done that. So I got to give Chapek a lot of credit for calling the shots early and canceling these, you know, Star Wars movies right from the get-go once he began to really develop this new universe with George, John, and Dave, and how he was able to talk a little bit more about his key decision of canceling those movies to focus on other ones that are going to be announced at Celebration that alludes to the ones that we have been talking about, the fourth Star Wars trilogy that's going to be based between the High Republic and the Old Republic era. It's going to serve as a bridge between those two different time periods. So moving beyond this, all right, now, this is something that Chapek knew would be a disaster in the making by Kennedy, and what caused him to put an end to this High Republic trilogy ahead of time. These films are also going to feature a character named Geo the Rock, and that Kennedy was planning to promote this character in the movies in order to create tons of mer merchandise for Geo on store shelves. This character was said to be one of the main characters in the new Star Wars trilogy of films, based in the High Republic. So far, Chapek has not been impressed with the High Republic era, which is why he pushed for the game makers to focus on a conflict in the new video game Eclipse. Chapek is also set to cancel some of the High Republic books that are currently in the works in order for them to be redone and reworked in a totally different way to better develop this new era in the Star Wars universe. Bob Chapek is set to announce his new plans over at Star Wars Celebration for the new movies that are about to be revealed. Now, once again, I think Chapek is doing an excellent job so far. I may not agree with his work on you know, the Disney parks, and especially with Galaxy's Edge, I'm not all that impressed with that. But when it comes to how he's really directing, you know, all the creators on how things should be done, when things should be done, and which order they should actually be created, that I think he's doing an excellent job on. He's allowing George, John, and Dave to do what they want. He's allowing a lot of legends to come back into the equation, something that Kathleen Kennedy did not want to see. I mean, she always stated time and time again that she does not want to see a lot of George Lucas's work in Star Wars and that they have to focus away from that in order to really focus on the new. She believes that by staying attached to George Lucas's vision and philosophy, it's almost as if it's a burden. And in the meantime, it's really backwards. It's actually what you want to embrace. You know, it's something that you should embrace because he is Star Wars. George Lucas is the Star Wars franchise at the end of the day. He is the man that made it all possible, so you should at least respect that. So overall, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.